that one. From a side. Down. Are you alright there ladies and gents? How the hell is it going? I'm out with Big Pezza. And as you can see, I'm using my GoPro Max. Using it in a way I've not used before. I just want to try this out because I'm hoping to use this angle when I do my track day up at Brands Hatch. Um, so yeah, I'm just uh, uh, trialling that one. But that's not why we're here. This is my first test ride, or ride, after making a mess of my wrist um, the other week, when I, well the other month, when I came off my beta. And uh, yeah, it's doing okay. Um, it's slow, slow healing process though. It's a trouble with sort of ligament damage and sprains and stuff like that. They take just so much longer to, to heal than broken bones. Which is kind of a bit frustrating. But it's nice to know that I can ride this bike okay. I've got full control of it and I'm not having any issues with uh, things like clutch and stuff like that. I'm quite glad it's my left wrist even though I'm left handed. Just because it means that my right wrist, the throttle and brake one, I know is going to be dandy. Um, I'm kind of doing this as a bit of physiotherapy to be honest. Get my wrist used to riding at road pace. We're going to be going very very gently today just because one, um, me being a slightly broken person and also Pez is on his CRF so we don't want um, to get split up because this thing's a little bit faster than that. But yeah, it should be a nice little ride out. We're heading over to Newlands Corner and uh, going to grab ourselves a brew and stuff and things and have a chat and just generally not be indoors, which is pretty much where I've been precisely ever since smashing my wrist on a knob. <laughs> like I say, this ain't going to be a hugely exciting ride for pace and uh, cornering joy. Um, Although Pez's bike's got dual sport tyres, they're absolutely fine on tarmac. Uh, they're not going to be as grippy as mine. And I just don't really fancy pushing on too hard. I just want to get used to it with Pez showing off behind me. <laughs> That's one way to make sure that your wrist doesn't wear out. Hang it in the air. Oh, you just don't care. Wobbly, wobbly, round the corner wobbly. noticed with my new sleek crash helmet set up on my initial road lid uh, that my microphone has moved so I do hope that my audio is not all clipping out and stuff and overpowered because it's a bit closer to my mouth than it normally would be but we shall see we shall see indeed indeed oh it's so very very nice to get out on the bike it really is even if it's all that are very chilled out Yeah, this is a good little bit of physio for it to be honest, it's what I need the hand to do, so just doing what I need it to do is going to be uh, the best thing I think to uh, get its strength back up. So dear Poody, um, do you know what it is yet? noticed while I was uh, not able to ride um, was a complete lack of motivation um, to do anything I found it really difficult and I guess uh, we've all struggled a little bit with that sort of thing with all the lockdowns that everyone's been uh, stuck behind and forced to stay at home and stuff um, yeah it's it's kind of a weird thing I, I, I don't know whether I was late to the party as far as it affected me but um, yeah I just felt really quite low actually and uh, I was just like what is my point what is what my point of my existence um, not in a oh god I'm gonna top myself type way absolutely not but it was just I just didn't see any point in me <laughs> which is a really odd thing to have happen to you um, so what am I? I'm a biker and someone that goes to work. And if you look at the big scheme of things, like, yeah, that is kind of what I am. But we're actually so much more than that. 
When we're Murder Gutsy, we're greater than the sum of our parts. And a very wise man last night put some wise words in my head and made me kind of realise that we're all a little bit like that to an extent. No one's ever 100% happy all the time, are we? It would be impossible. It would also be kind of a bit boring. It would make the... Uh, if everything was good, it would stop feeling good. You need a few downs, a few lows, to make the good things feel better. I'm not belittling how anyone else might feel about um, the things that um, affect your, your well-being, your mental well-being and stuff, not at all. And this isn't a video about mental well-being, absolutely not. It was just something that came into my head, about something that came into my head the last few days. How's the ridge? Yeah, it's alright actually, it seems to be getting a little bit better. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, the ibuprofen is probably kicking in now as well. Most probably. <laughs> so I assume it's just generally go up here as if we were going to Wolven's Lane, but instead of going off up to Wolven's Lane, you just keep. Make sure I don't, my brain doesn't go that autopilot. <laughs> it's all right, I'm not going up fucking Wolven's Lane on this. <laughs> Like when we get to Newlands, my brain will automatically go to the, the lane that's at the bottom of Newlands to go up, you know what I mean? Right, yep. <laughs> so, it's that last corner, I need to just remind myself, don't do that, mate. <laughs> so, Peter's taken point, and uh, it means we've uh, got a better judge of speed, because him being the slower bike, he can go the pace he can go at. Which makes things a little bit more interesting. I've turned off the back camera, there's no point if he's not behind me. And my wrist seems to be doing great, which is awesome news, awesome news. It seems to have just needed me to start using it a little bit harder, I think. This is a nice little road, this one. I don't come down here that often because my main reason for heading over to Abinger and Lee Hill is to go up Lee Hill on the dirty bike. It looks like they've done that wonderful resurfacing trick with chippings along here. So, uh, although I've actually got a reasonable amount of grip, there could be piles of chippings as we come along corners and stuff. So, uh, just want to be mindful. I really don't want to wash out again. Certainly not on this bike, this one will not crash as well as my Beta did. <laughs> there are some seriously nice twists and turns around here. Even if they are at a 40 mile an hour pace, they're still very, very nice and fun on a motorcycle. Well, I'm sorry to all of you who uh, were waiting on my exhaust video to hear what it sounded like and then I proceeded to talk all the way through it. It was a bit um, short-sighted of me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you were listening to that video trying to hear what these exhaust pipes sound like, I'm very much sorry. <laughs> um, it wasn't meant to be clickbait, I just hadn't really realised even in editing just how much I'd rabbit it on. <laughs> sorry! <laughs> I will try and do a uh, ride by noise test on this at some point. Try and get something going with one of my 360 cameras and uh, um, fancy stereo microphones and stuff like that. I think that would be quite cool and quite fun to record and edit. Providing I can get the 360 cameras to, to behave properly. <laughs> yep, there's that crap in the middle of the road there. I don't know how well the GoPro picks that out, I don't put it on sharp, so that sort of stuff doesn't show up very well, but meh, what rubbish road surface. Doggos, you want to control them in the road. It's so very nice to just be out riding a bike and just real vlogging. 
just talking about whatever comes into my mind as I'm riding. And I'm sure some of you think that's really annoying when I do that. You'd much rather me have a, a topic or a, some sort of sanity thing going on. But I quite like these free wheeling ones. And I certainly like getting out on the motorcycle rather than talking to you from my PC, which is very boring. Narrow little windy roads around here. Although my wrist may appreciate the physiotherapy it's getting right now, <laughs> I think it's going to be a little bit sore later on. I know some of you have uh, been doing ride outs and stuff for a little while now, but I seem to keep doing things that stop me riding out with my mates. So it's bloody nice, it really is bloody nice to. Uh, up with Pez and have a little spin. Now I think we should be appearing in Sheer soon, or thereabouts. Ah, oh, I know where we are. This is the A25. Yes, A25. Awesome. And there is Abinger Hammer. These are really cool, I love these carvings. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. This ride really has come at perfect timing for me. I'm pretty much bang out content after today's video. Um, not the one I'm recording now, the one that I've put online today of me riding my beta home after getting it lowered. Uh, yeah, that is pretty much the last of my usable videos. <laughs> Pez is trying to take us green laning. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, so uh, having this means next week you get a video. <laughs> I'm going to try and get out a little bit more. Um, like I said, this was a test ride really, just to make sure my wrist was all right and up for it. And that's one of the reasons we've got a Pez with us is uh, in case uh, I struggled. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm very glad to say that I can now get out on the bikes again and be pretty much comfortable. Just got to make sure I dose up on ibuprofen. This is such a fun road when there's no stupid cars on it. Grr, Arik. They seem to go slower and slower up it. At the moment they know there's someone wanting to go faster and faster up it. But hey ho, and there's often cyclists, which is probably why we're going to crawl here now anyway, so um, yeah. Yep, it's definitely cyclists up ahead. So um, let's get rid of this video, shall we? If you haven't done so already, please do click that subscribe button. It'd be great to have you come back for some more. I've got more than this Triumph. I've got a, a very customised Merc Gutsy. I've also got a, a Beta Enduro bike, which I've just had lowered, and I'm very much looking forward to getting out on that. I've got a track day coming up. I'm going to be either taking this if it's wet, or the Moto Gutsy if it's dry. That's over at Brands Hats GP, so that should be good fun to watch. And uh, yeah, all sorts of different stuff happens on this channel, um, from green laning, track days, to just general ride outs and all that sort of stuff. Anyhow, um, if you did like this video, if you like traffic jams, if you like cyclists, why not give this video a little thumbs up? And if you hate cyclists and you love going fast and twisty, why not give this video a little thumbs up? And if you smell of wee and cabbage, you can always give it a thumbs down. I don't care. Not at all. Whatever's. Um, but please do drop in a comment. I love hearing from you. I'm just going to cough. I'll cut that out because that's not pleasant for you to hear. <laughs> um, yes, so uh, please do give it a little thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever, and do drop in a comment. I love hearing from you. And uh, anyway, um, yeah, if you ride, ride safe, take care, and we should catch you all in the next one. A wordy bird, welly got da. You're rubbish and you know it, you're rubbish, you're rubbish and you know it, you're rubbish, you're rubbish and you know it, and you really don't show it, you're rubbish and you know it, fuck off cyclist. I knew it was cyclist. Yeah, yeah, it had to be. It always is on that hill, you never get a clear run up there because of bloody cyclists. Yeah, the only time I've ever had a clear run up there is obviously no <laughs> and there was a tread of cyclists stuck behind you, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Keep that bike. Oh, that's nice. Drop it, sir. Down. Yeah, you know, you gotta keep that bike.
rubber sound down.